Welcome back to my channel. This is Nikki of Nikki's Homemade Crafts. It's time for the reveal and part three of the Happy Heads Mystery Crochet Along. You made this beanie like structure in part one and you made these two pieces in part two. We have a little bit more to crochet, so get your yarn ready and we're going to get started with that. Quick reminder there is a link down below in the description that takes you straight over to the written instructions of this pattern and you have two different choices on how to access the pattern either with ads on my website for free or you can join my membership which gets you access to an entire vault of ad free patterns all of my patterns including this one ad free and printer friendly plus hundreds of hundreds of video tutorials most of them are exclusive to the membership so if you need some extra support you want to be part of a fun community then come join the crochet club my membership many different ways on how to access this pattern so let's get started a quick heads up we're also going to need just a tiny bit of black i'm using pixie dust brights yarn in black but you can use any black you wish in order to finish up the pattern you only need a little bit of it and you will see that towards the end of the video there's also something else you're going to need, which I'll show you towards the end of the video as well. But that is not really per se a need. Um, it is a suggestion and it's going to make you smile once you see the final result. You may not be able to get it on time to be sent home to you for you to use it. So don't worry about it, but I do recommend getting it. Now you're curious what it's going to be? Well, keep watching and let's crochet the rest of the pieces and put the final thing together. The very first thing is going to be a structure that has two little bulbs um, and you will see in the end what that is going to be for. So let's start with that. So you're going to first make one piece, then cut the yarn, repeat the piece and then connect them after. So let's do that together. Start with a magic ring, chain one. And now you're going to add your alternative turning chain and you're going to add an additional nine double crochet stitches to the ring. So you have 10 stitches in total. Once you're done, pull your yarn and now the ring is closed and now slip stitch to the very first stitch and now cut your yarn and we're going to repeat that one more time. Once you have your two circle like structures, we're going to combine them. So we're now going to crochet around it and connect back to this one. So I like to start first on this one here and do about half of it just that I have some structure to hold on to. So I'm going to do my alternative turning chain. We're just going to crochet one stitch per stitch and then we're going to connect over here. Okay. So I did one double crochet as the alternative turning chain. Now I'm going to crochet five more double crochets, one per stitch. So that's three, four, and five. Now I'm going to pick up my piece here on this one. And now I'm going to continue crocheting all the way around here. That's 10 stitches in total. It doesn't really matter where you're going to start. We're going to connect back to this one after so wherever you feel like starting go for it and we're still going to continue with one double crochet per stitch now once you've done your 10 stitches on that side you're going to go back over to the other side and going to continue crocheting your double crochet stitches now there will be a little bit of a gap here and don't you worry we're going to use our yarn right here to connect the pieces okay so there should be five more stitches on the other side to crochet so go ahead and do that and then slip stitch to the very first stitch now let's close our gap here in between so pull out your yarn a little bit so you're not losing it you have some yarn ends here that you can use so whichever you want to use go ahead and do so just gonna pick the longest one that i have and now I'm going to connect the pieces here together so that big gap disappears. The reason we have a big gap is because we're crocheting double crochet stitches instead of single crochet stitches. 
but that is not a problem at all because as I said, we're gonna just sew them together and that's just a few stitches, make a knot and then you're good. So there we go, I make a knot here. You can then weave in your ends, I'm going to do that later. For now, I'm just gonna probably just tuck them in and move on at this point. Now we're going to do one more round of just double crochet stitches. So again, you're going to do your alternative turning chain and now you're gonna crochet all the way around one stitch per stitch. So as we said, there were 10 stitches in total for each circle. So connecting them together means that we have 20 now. So that means in total you have 20 stitches for this round. Now we're going to do a decreasing round all the way around. So remember in part two, we did that also where we did just a decreasing round. So we're gonna do it exactly the same way. So we're going to go from 20 to 10 stitches. So I'm going to do an unfinished alternative turning chain or some kind of equivalent to it. And we're doing an unfinished double crochet. So we have three loops on our hook in the end, yarn over and pull through all three. So that's one stitch in total. Now you're going to do just regular double crochet decreases, two together each time. So you know that you always have to do an unfinished double crochet and then combining all three together. So when I said three, I meant the three loops. So do that all the way around and you will end up with 10 stitches in total. All right, now at this point, you're just gonna crochet five rounds of just double crochet stitches, okay? So one per stitch, no increases, no decreases. As you know, I like to start with my alternative turning chain and then I'm just gonna crochet double crochet stitches with slip stitches at the very end of the round. So it's, it's non-continuous rounds. And then you're going to repeat that entire thing one more time such that you have two pieces in the end like this. And it's going to look like this. So two of these pieces are going to be needed. You will see in the end what they're actually going to be. Now you're going to do a few black pieces, but I'm going to just talk you through it because black is super hard to see on camera and those are only teeny tiny pieces. So let's do that. All right, so with black for the eyes, yes, those are eyes, you're going to make a magic ring. And remember the written pattern is down below at the link, okay? And you're going to make, you're going to add nine single crochets to the ring. Then all the way around, you're gonna crochet two half double crochets first in the first stitch, then two half double crochets in the next stitch. Then in the following stitch right here are going to be one in that same stitch, one double crochet, one triple crochet, one double crochet. Then you're gonna do three times two double crochets per stitch. So that's six stitches in total. Again, over here, one double crochet, triple crochet, and double crochet in the same stitch. And then one more set of half double crochets in the last stitch and then connect with a slip stitch. Those are the eyes right here. You do two of those. Then the nose, you're going to do a magic ring and you're going to add six single crochets to the ring. And that's for that. And then you have these two things, which are bones, okay? Yep, they're bones. So what you're going to do is you're going to do a chain of seven and then you're going to, in the third chain from the hook, all of it, what I'm about to tell you, go all in the third chain from the hook, okay? So two double crochets, then a chain of two, slip stitch back to that chain, then a chain of two, two double crochets, still all in the same chain, okay? then a chain of two and slip stitch back to the same chain. So that's this side. Now you're going to do one, two, three single crochets, so one per chain, and then you have one last chain left, and you're going to slip stitch into it, then chain of two, two double crochets, chain of two slip stitch into that chain, then again, chain of two, two double crochets, chain of two slip stitch into the chain. And then you're going to fasten off and you're going to sew those two pieces, both of these bones, to the bottom right here. How you're going to add them is up to you, but they're pretty much buttons, 
Okay, so you're going to add them right here, sew them right on there, and now it's time to assemble. There's one more thing that you're going to do, and that is add a mouth, but how you're going to add the mouth is up to you. So what are we actually making? Well, I'm making a skeleton. So these two pieces are actually the ears, so they're right about here. Okay, so you're gonna add, sew them right on here. However, there is a sneaky little thing that we're going to add on to. So let me show you. These parts are optional, but I highly recommend you get them. There's a link down below. There's only really one place where you can get them from. Um, and I found them on Amazon. So these are little kind of mechanical pop-up thingies, okay? <laughs> Uh, they are allow you to add them into these ears so they become movable. So pretty much what you do is you're going to take your piece right here. So let me show you how it actually works. So once you squeeze here, this moves, okay? You're just pushing air from one side to another pretty much, okay? So once you have all the sewn on, which I'll show you in a second, you're going to take your piece and you're going to push it through one of these double crochet holes okay if you can't push it through i recommend kind of squeezing it a little bit and then pushing it through that way so as you can see this fits through here just fine and you may have to squeeze this center part here a little bit and then it comes right through okay and then you put this through wherever you want your ears to be then you put this piece on. I'm showing you without it through, so it's much easier to see. You're gonna push this through, and then you're going to sew your ears to the actual beanie, okay, on both sides. Now, this part is going to hang through here. So it's gonna come here on the side, and don't worry, you're not gonna really feel it as you're wearing the hat. And then you're gonna take this piece right here, and push it through this piece all the way through the end. You should be able to just push it through. I made it large enough that you can just pull it through. So I can just wiggle it. And I did it on purpose like this, okay? Because I would like you to be able to remove it anytime, let's say it malfunctions or something like that. Uh, you can um, remove it and replace it if need be, okay? So once you have that done, you're going to sew, there's nine stitches, if you cut it in half, nine stitches that you need to sew onto the beanie, okay? So there's 18 around, but you're only going to sew on nine of them. So that way this hole stays open and you can remove the bulb anytime. You're also going to close up the hole here on the bottom. And as I said, you have the bone here on the top and you're going to have that somewhere wherever the front is, is going to be the bone. So that way, once you squeeze it, um, the ear goes up. And then you're going to have a skeleton ear moving hat or pop-up hat. So let me show you my final result. And once it's all sewn on, it's going to look like this. Now, as I said, I put my pieces already in. So you can see that the cord, the tube is right here. So you can always take it out and you can even assemble this entire thing without having it already. Just, you know, align it properly. This will be hanging down, which is fine. So these are bones, obviously, that will pop up. And then we have some bones as buttons right here. So once I squeeze, you can see this goes up. And there you have your pop-up ear movable skeleton hat. Now, I told you you could have used different colors. You And I mentioned like orange and purple and such, although I recommended white because bones are white. But the reason I mentioned the other colors is because, of course, it is Halloween. So if you feel like you wanted to make a Halloween version, go for it. With orange, there's many different possibilities. Purple, many possibilities. Uh, you can totally make orange or purple orange or purple skeletons, of course, many different things that you can do. And I am really excited to show you more of this. And we're gonna talk in detail about this pop-up ear moving hat 
at the live tomorrow. So go check out our crochet party. You should see it pop up here shortly. And there's also a link down below or directly at my YouTube channel. And you're going to be amazed what else you can do. And you're gonna learn all about the ear moving pop-up hats. So be sure to come. I hope this made you smile. Now you probably understand why I called it a happy hat because these ear pops up and they simply make everyone smile when they see it. This is a very unique hat and you may have seen these types of hats around uh, for the last several years, but this is the first time you're gonna see a crochet version out of it. And now go ahead and finish yours and post your final images into the group Crocheting with Nikki. I can't wait to see yours. And here's the hat in action. Is that so funny and it's so cute. It simply makes you smile. These happy hats are so amazing. They also, they're mostly known as ear moving pop-up hats. So cute. I hope to see you at the crochet party. Now let me see your skeleton pop-up moving ear hat. Be sure to like, comment and share this video. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the bell to get a notification next time I'm publishing a video or go live. Now go ahead and watch the next video. You're gonna want to, I promise you do.